Hello everyone and welcome back finally to some more iRacing content. Yes, we return today with the iRacing Grand Prix series. It's been a while since the last race I did back at Mugello, but obviously matching the real life Formula 1 season, iRacing went to Spa this weekend. 44 laps around the iconic circuit and I thought you know I need to get back into this series throughout the second half of 2024. I do go live with the races now here on this YouTube channel and also on my Twitch so I'll make sure I drop a link down in the description below as well to that but get yourself subscribed if you're new around here. This one if you avoid the chaos early on was a very interesting race of strategy. Right chat I didn't do predictions for the race I'm sorry I didn't even pay out. Sorry chat. I don't know if anyone here is a mod that can do it for us. But here we go. Right. Just survive turn one. We're going to focus. Everyone's taking it really easy. Not that guy. Oh, this is chaos. <laughs> I mean, we knew that was going to happen, didn't we? We absolutely knew that was going to happen. I've made places up. Oh, I don't think it'd be side by side. Oh, that guy. Yeah, that guy's got no front wing. I don't want to be involved with him. That guy's almost completely gone into the wall as well. <laughs> oh, man. I knew that would be chaos, but I wasn't expecting it to be that bad at the start. I could not tell you where we are. Right, now we just got to try and survive. 44 laps, chat. It's okay, we'll do that easy. It's a very short race, actually, around here, to be fair. In terms of time. So I wonder if there's any more cars that are damaged in front as well. That's the other thing I'm wondering. I mean, I'm basically, the way I kind of end up having to do these races a lot is just really take it easy first few laps, build up confidence. And I mean, early on when I was doing the opening few rounds, by the end of the race we were pretty quick. But I don't know how quick we'll be today or anything. I have no idea what to do this race. Hopefully we'll get a run on this guy up into his final corner. Slipstream is powerful. On your right. We are right. We are... His braking confidence is better than mine, though. He's on hards, though, so we should be quick. Or quicker, I should say. What position are we up to? Okay. Looks like Tenth, taps. apparently. It's not a bad lap one. <laughs> I mean, the thing as well, obviously, the DRS is so powerful in this car that the fact that we will get the DRS detection basically means we're going to make the move happen. But yeah, 15th to 19th to 10th then on lap one. Not bad going. Hey, oh, is DRS not enabled yet? It's lap three still. Okay. I mean, we're still going to get the run. Is he going to keep it at the inside? Yeah. He's confident on the brakes, man. It's a shame for me, because we're definitely quicker, but... Just got to show the nose. Car left. Uh! <laughs> Don't show the nose there, apparently. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what on earth is that, man? Just show the nose. Don't show the nose, apparently. I mean, there was no contact or anything. He just dropped it on the exit. I'm sagging we avoided it. Right, now we might actually be able to settle into a rhythm. We have got one guy behind me, but that's okay. By showing the nose, I scared him into that error. Exactly. He was like... You've shown your nose to me. I'm going to show you mine. It just does a 360. <laughs> or a 180 at least. Oh, another car gone. Uh, where are you rejoining, sir? There. Right, up into ninth then. 
I reckon steel, if we don't bottle it, top five finish. Oh, not if I do lines like that, though. That turn one, trying to get the rotation in, is horrible. Alright, this time around we've definitely got DRS, though, so let's see how powerful that is. Guy behind me! That is mad straight line speed. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Oh, another one gone. P8, thank you. P7, thank you. <laughs> what is these races, bro? I mean, it's why... Oh, damn it. I broke too late. It's why I ended up doing quite well in the opening five rounds. Because you just have to try and survive. I mean, I don't know if anyone remembers the race we did at Suzuka. I binned it like four times. And I never actually damaged the car properly. We still ended up... I think we ended up with a podium that race. Apparently, I am... Apparently, I just cause others to bottle as well. If you're near me, bottles happen. It's just the nature of being around me. All it takes is one look in the mirror and it's enough to scare them. You just see this face behind you. And you know you're in trouble. So Paul currently... Oh, that's the stupidest one X I've ever got. Paul's still up in P5. So he's done pretty well early on. He survived, which is good. You know, we always like to make friends in this series, wherever possible. DJ, welcome on in, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Oh, there's more debris. So I'm hoping now things are going to calm down a bit. We're slightly slower than most of the cars in front, but that's to be expected. But we are just trying to slowly up the pace. I have no idea where to upshift to 8, by the way. Where Discord? I'm sorry. It's going to be a while. Just ignore him, go away. I hope so. I mean, he's been near me for a lap and he hasn't bottled it yet. Oh, damn it, man. i got to break early into that corner. Oh, I've got another one. No idea if he's damaged or just slow. Oh, he's a lap car. That's fine. How slow is that lapped car, man? What is that? <laughs> Why are you driving? <laughs> oh, this series is such chaos, man. They need stricter meatballs. Like, if you've lost the wing, it should tell you and you're forced to box and change it. Because every single race, you've got one guy going around with no front wing for some reason. Speaking of Discord, Matt. Just tuned in. Is this race full length? Yes, it is. This series runs on the Thursday before any IRL F1 race. That and is 100% race distance. Ideally, they like to go to the real-life track, uh, but when that's not possible, they try and pick one similar in terms of characteristics or location. What's the plan? Branson, you need to tell me. You know Discord way better than I do. Smurf getting mad. Right, we're almost down into the 49s then, so... I feel like our pace is slowly getting there. I mean, we were quicker than all the guys in front last lap, but they are battling. Top guy is fast, though. Tom, but again, it's Tom, isn't it? And he's always rapid. Oh, there we go. So when I nail it, I can actually break there, it would appear. I think the other one as well is just trying to keep the instant count low. I know at Magello I got a drive through and that cost me the win, I think. That was really stupid.
I just pay someone five pounds to do it. Wonderful. Well, we we can sit down and talk about it, Bradson, at some point. The fighting in front, yeah, I mean, it's a good three-way scrap going on. But, of course, it only helps me to catch up. Not if I want to try and get past them. Because top three have kind of pulled away. Oh, someone's gone. Who's that? Uh, it was Ryan who's got looped it round. So I'm into seventh then. Sixth even. That's good. I mean, I don't actually think I've made one legitimate overtake so far, have I? Maybe one early on. Um, but <laughs> I've basically made up nine places. Or 13 places, really, in this race. Just by not crashing. Yet. Is the key word there. I should mention. Yeah, like I said, these races are a bit odd because really you don't actually fight other cars more so. You just fight to survive throughout most of it. But it is normally the first 10% of the race you lose close to half the field for some reason. I mean, this isn't even bottom split, I don't think. Like normally you've got guys with less than a thousand eye racing in these. I think there's three splits, I think we're middle. Is Smurf creating a kicker came on? I have no idea what Smurf's up to. Oh, we're pretty close to leader's pace then, which is good. It's so nice going to... I know this obviously is such an outdated layer at Spa now. But it is so nice having the real bus stop chicane. Like, I don't get how Cody still can't get it right. Oh, we've got another one. Spam. That is Alex gone. I'm at a fifth. Yep, Alex is gone, gone by the looks of it. <laughs> Smurf won't waste his time. Smurf is a wise man. I mean kick now, unless you're a massive streamer going on to there. Like, because you're getting paid to. Is anybody really streaming on there? Like, it feels like whenever on the very rare occasions I go to set up a stream, because obviously I'm just multi-streaming. Like, most of, the, like, I guess obviously sim racing is very much Twitch anyway. But it feels like whatever I ever look at, there's like no one streaming anything ever. Like, it kind of seemed like the big thing for about three weeks. And then now it seems to be nothing. It's very odd. Bring back Mixer, I say. Back end's just starting to get a little bit loose through that corner. Not badly, but just a little bit. I wanted to monitor gaps of the cars in front. We were slightly slower that time round. Paul's got some pace, man. Paul's looking rapid. What's the beef with kick? Got no beef with kick, personally. To be fair, chat, had I kept my Sauber deal in place, I probably would have to be streaming there exclusively, which would be quite sad. Oh, another one's binned it. Maybe. Never fully trust Crew Chief. He's dropped back a bit. He might have just got made a little bit of a mistake. So there's the podium. We can just see P2 and P3 making their way out of a rouge. Seems like we're dragging this guy behind us as well pretty nicely. Yeah, that 49 1 is a quick time. It's those curbs, man. They're so lethal. You make one mistake over there and your race can be over in an instant. That's the thing I'm so scared about. I mean, 
yeah, to be fair, Puon is near enough flat still when you get the line right. It's definitely, I'm noticing, a starting to reduce the grip, though, on these softs. I think if we can get him towards lap 20, like lap 18, lap 19, then it should be okay. But they're definitely starting to become a little bit more shaky. But at least everybody's seeing that. It's not that my pace is falling off more than others. If it was something I was two seconds slower than the guys in front, then I could understand it more, but... Slight kick of Overseer there on the back end. I mean, you can see everyone now is up in the 51s, 52s. Guy in front, a little bit wide. Do I need first ruler source? I don't know. I say, yeah, apart from P1, we were the quickest of the top bunch. To say, the guy behind me as well was pretty fast. There's also a lot of lap time watching, at least if you're me. You're not even halfway through the race and you're already talking about your salva deal. How do you stay concentrated on the racing and the stream at the same time? Um, also, I mean, I commentate, obviously, whilst I'm racing anyway, so that bit isn't much of a problem. But generally, I only really look at chat down the straights. Um, but obviously, I, I don't really know, to be honest. It's an odd skill, but... It's basically an odd skill I learnt I've got, so I try to make a living out of it. That's where we're at. <laughs> Is there a way to change the gear ratio on the F1 car? No, it's fixed. Gear ratios on real Formula 1 cars are fixed, to be fair, so... Otherwise, yeah, you'd want to do something with that 7th gear around here. It's just because of where you have to pull up the hill. It's just a bit awkwardly positioned, but... So I think we are slightly quicker than Massimo in front. Uh, but yeah, top three still have definitely at least got the same pace, if not quicker. Like, seventh gear is fine up through there, but it is just up the Kemmel straight. It's a bit more difficult. First gear worth it? No. Oh, definitely not. I mean, if you get it absolutely nailed, you can get a bit of pickup, but it's not it's not quicker. We also now chat, I believe. Oh, no, I, I didn't put the remote with me. Damn it. <laughs> I was going to say, I could now turn the aircon on if we get too warm, but the remote's over there, so that's impossible. I also don't know when I last turned my TV off. Which is always a problem whenever I do big races. Blah. Oh, come on. We can't start chewing that front inside wheel there. Blah. You don't want to take too much curb on the inside. It'll absolutely spit you out. It's not as bad as on the F1 game, but it's still pretty bad. I just want to get inside the DRS of this guy. Ugh. That is not the line through there. Or the gear. I think as well, where these cars have got so much torque. Where they've got so much torque, you've really got to try and carry the high gear, because it will pull on the exit. Ah, oh, don't talk about Monaco Smurf. <laughs> I was I, as soon as I did that, I was like, the guys I see on Twitch are gonna have a field day with this. It was so painful, so painful. Is that a sim rig or is it dismounted? No, this is a sim rig. A track racer TR8, I believe. Say, the wheel I've got, you would not want to clamp it on a desk, ideally. I mean, you can. You just wouldn't really want to. Oh, there we go. That was not a bad shift up. 
I mean, yeah, all the top guys are pretty much identical. Oh. Someone's made an error somewhere. I thought it was up here, but apparently not. That corner's so horrible. Like, I don't think people realise it from playing the F1 game for years, but it's such a horrible corner. It's just no grip. We are now at the end of this lap chat, a quarter of the way through this race. We're doing okay. Oh, I can't lose him. I need to stop using third through there, man. Compromises the throttle on the exit. Uh, oh, come on. How is that not a 1x? I was genuinely expecting that to be a 1x there. Sim rig and Fanatec wheels. Last thing you're missing. Is a water button. I don't even know how you would go about setting that up, to be fair. But I could really do with, like, a cold water tube on tap. I guess you'd have to do it like a real race car, to be fair. I imagine you get that wired into a fridge or something. <laughs> so stupid, but so cool. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Nose in. Nose in. Come on, bite, please. Ugh. I can see why so many people have been there out of there. It's so difficult. And every time I just get a little bit closer as well. <sighs> do you do I have the drink? I have got a drink, it's just not got much in it. You will not have the drink. I mean was it wasn't it Marcus Ericsson never used his drink? Like, he genuinely wouldn't pack one in the car. He was like, oh, I just don't need it. Oh, a bit of a mistake by the guy in front. I tried to have a look over the wheel there to see if he was spinning. But, compromised myself more. Guy behind's just keeping up a little bit better. Uh. I need some big laps here before the pit stop. I think I have got a bind for the tear-off. Yeah, there you go. See, look at that. After all the abuse you guys gave me early on. I'm impressed I remember that, to be fair. Right, but now I know I can take more curb there. I'm going to be doing it every time. Look at that. Immediately two tenths. Formula Toe's making deals. He's always making deals. With the Green Party trying to push their agenda, do you eventually think Formula 1 will become Formula E? Uh, no. I genuinely want to believe that Formula 1 is going to go more down the route of synthetic fuels. Like, to me, obviously, again, I'm no expert on it or anything like that. But surely, if there's the opportunity to make a fuel out of plants that gives out no greenhouse gases that can run in cars we've already got without problems... You know, minor conversions on older cars, yeah. But surely that's the way forward rather than extracting more metals out of the earth and things like that. Or hydrogen is the other one. I saw, was it, um, Toyota want to run a hydrogen car alongside their hybrid in World Endurance in 2028, which would be interesting. So maybe we could see, you know, that at Le Mans even earlier. I, yeah, I just kind of always feel that electric cars are the stopgap. Like, they come with their own perks, yes. Um, but they, they're not... You know, they, they're not... It's how many miles you have to do as well before they're worth it. Before you've actually made a net gain. That's the other thing that worries me. Plus, let's be fair, at least in the UK now, and I'm going to not try and get too political, the Green Party aren't so green anymore. Don't get me wrong, they're still better than, you know, other parties with that in mind, but they're not quite as far extreme green as they used to be. They've kind of realised you need to get somewhere as well with a few other policies. Yeah, the only thing is with hydrogen still is people are morons. Like, the amount of people that would seriously injure themselves, well, they'd die really, wouldn't they? Trying to fill up hydrogen cars would be, you know, there would have to be big changes.
Right, we're taking a bit of time out of this guy then. Last couple of laps have been good. That was a uh, 151.9. Oh no, not first gear, man. Ugh. Come on. Every time I get a little bit closer, ready for turn one. <laughs> Yeah, Rowan Atkinson's had a hydrogen car for a while. But Rowan Atkinson is just like a ridiculously big car nerd. That's a one second slowdown. You having a laugh? You'll need to give back the time gained. There we go. Not a big issue, but annoying. And my second off track. The gap behind is now 2.3 seconds. Worryingly, I don't think I lost much either, somehow. Come on, I need to be right on this guy before I pit. Ties are looking a bit better than they than I thought they would do, to be fair. So I can probably get these, yeah, to about lap 19. Ugh. I'll be so careful through there still with the steer, and you can feel the car wanting to break free. What I'm more impressed with still is the fact that the top seven cars still, there is really not a lot of pace to separate us. Like, any of us can set the fastest lap out of this group each lap at the moment. If you just get the line right. Oh, come on. Teslas are cheap, but they still... I, if, I was, if I was buying an electric car tomorrow, a Tesla would not be my first choice. I'm just not a fan of the styling on them. If it was money, no object, and I needed, like, an electric car that was sensible-ish, I'd love to get, like, a Porsche Taycan or something like that. Oh, damn it. P7's binned it. Get a Prius. I don't think I'll be getting a Prius anytime soon. Ugh. Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. I don't know why I'm silly bottling that. Oh. What's he done? What's he done? What's he done? He's binned it. He's definitely hit the wall. I don't know whether that's big damage or not. He might have got away with it. Who was that? I think that was... I don't know. Definitely still a few mistakes creeping in here and there. The Tesla is cheap horsepower, but they're not that... You know, they, they're obviously quick. I had one. I was going out to see the girlfriend last week. Um, and I had one. It wasn't bad, but he kind of tried... He tried to cut me off getting onto the motorway. And he did kind of... Uh, and you could kind of... Because, of course, he's... A, you know, I, I'm sorry if there are Tesla owners here. But he did the whole thing of, I'm in a Tesla, therefore I will be quicker than you. So obviously, he then put his foot down and say, my car's got a decent bit of poke, especially with that kind of acceleration. And I just kept up with him. <laughs> and you could kind of tell he was there going, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> because he was just, obviously, then I got onto the motorway and I went round him. Because, of course, then it breaks because it's within a mile of a lorry. That kind of thing. And you're there like, oh, actually, guy behind just pit. But it was like, yeah, so he put his foot down, and I knew he was going to do it, so I was ready, so I did the same. And I just kept up with him. Like, don't get me wrong, it wasn't like a plaid or anything like that, otherwise, yeah, I would have been smoked. But it was kind of there going, you know, most people, if it's a company car or something, they'll have bought, they'll have got the bottom of the range one. What car do you have? I've got a BMW M1 40i, so 350 brake horsepower. But obviously weighs a lot less than a Tesla as well. And obviously, yeah, off the line. But like from 30 miles an hour up, that thing's got so much torque. And like I said, it was probably a pretty low-end Tesla anyway. But it was just quite funny. I don't want really to... 
I'm going to use Concentrate still because there's a good chance for a podium here today if we get our lines right. I've also got to make sure I don't bin it into the pits. Or get done speeding into the pits. That's the other one. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Auto brake on Tesla's is funny as well. You're minted. Not minted. Well, people in chat have heard the story of how I got a 140i anyway. And it's it's the dreaded word for a lot of people I know. Um, but I made some decent, decent enough choices in crypto. And it was kind of like, I made a decent profit. I wanted that car anyway. And I could buy it. So I was like, yeah, why not? Admittedly, hindsight is a beautiful thing. Had I held the crypto, I could probably have a quite a bit nicer car now. But I've certainly got no regrets. So guys behind us starting to pit. Yeah, one series are decent cars, to be fair. I quite like the new ones, design-wise. It's just the same the new 135 is a four-pot, because it's just got no character. And, like, I get it's as quick, or nearly as quick, but it's, you know, at the end of the day, there's very few times where I can use the power of that car anyway, unless I'm trying to remind a Tesla they're not king of the roads. Um, but it's kind of like... I'd rather have an engine that sounds good as well, has character to it, and it just feels like the new 4-pot BMW engines don't. Like a lot of engines, because they're getting smaller. And that's the other reason why I want to keep my car. Like, because to be honest, it was kind of bought as a bit of an investment as well. It was like, it was always a car I wanted anyway. But they are a bit special. They are a bit unique. They were the last of a breed as well. crypto investing podcast with two and two trading as a sponsor if i had more time on my hand it could be something i'd be tempted to do but i made a promise to myself as well chat um for any of you that are kind of well versed inside all of the stuff we do on like youtube and stuff team warning me about the tires oh that's why there we go pulls in yeah we're gonna box might box the end of this one to be fair Exactly, it's nice to have the power when I need it, but 99.9... .9... Genuinely, my car spends most of its time in the economy mode. Like, turned down. Because I just, there's no, I can't use it. There's no point in using it. You can't do anything with it. It is quite fun having a slow car as well. Like, that's the other thing. Like, I think the girlfriend's car has got, like, 70 brake horsepower, and I've driven it a couple of times, and it's hilarious. Because you've really got to think about what you're going to do next to get up that hill. Car is Matt driving. Uh, currently, the Mercedes W13 Formula 1 car from 2022... We're doing a 100% race here at Spa. Oh, damn it, man. Just knew as soon as I broke that I'd done it too late. I don't think these tyres are completely ruined, but I don't want to stay on them anyway. I'm worried about getting undercut horrendously as well. I have no idea what times. Oh, yeah, guy behind a 49.6. We are in trouble. Leaders in, yeah, we'll join him. I think we might see all of us box now, to be fair. No, P3 is off sustain. Right, really easy in. What he says. There we go, nail it. Right, I've got mediums going on. Yeah, good. Wonderful. Oh, it's such a bumpy pit lane as well, man. Right, come on. Nice and easy. 3.1's not bad. Don't wheel spin. Too much. There we go. Right, let's go. Gotta remember, cold tyres. Spa is still such a weird pit lane. The fact you come off the limiter and slow down. Well, 
worst thing about driving in the UK is that one damn car on country road, country roads, 60 mile an hour. Oh yeah, you get that everywhere though. Okay. Oh no, it'd be this lap, won't it? That it'll notify that leader's done his tire change. Because you've got to do one complete lap on them, haven't you? Oh, come on, man. Uh, really not what I want to do to a fresh set of tyres either. It must be said. To be fair, we might get the gun to cut on the guy that was in front of me, depending on how we get on. If leader's picking now, then I probably won't. If he stays out for another couple, then we might have a chance. I think someone subbed. Thank you. I can't see. Oh, it's a different sub thing. I don't know what it says, but thank you. I'm sorry I can't read it. For some reason, it's not showing up this end. It's showing up on the screen. Someone tell me what it said, please. Otherwise, I'll feel bad. Zero-way roads go fast in 30-40. Oh, yeah, it's sad. Uh, oh, no, that's a curb. Come on, you... Try spin to all the tyres. Oh, a £3 Patreon pledge. Thank you very much. I'll get your name added to the list. Oh, there's the guy we were behind. Still out behind him, annoying me. But he'll have to heat up his tyres this lap. We're actually now at the back of this group, annoyingly. So we've got a lot of work still to do if we want to get that podium. And I ran out of money. <laughs> yeah, you got to put yourself first, Bradson. As I've always said with the Patreon and the subs and the memberships, yes, they do go a long way to help us out, but... There's certainly not a requirement or anything like that. I'm just happy to have a chat with you guys a few nights a week, to be fair. So I think as well, chat... Like I said, I was saying earlier on, we've done... This will be the 51st stream of the year. I believe as well I've also streamed for... I think it was... Over 200 hours, I want to say. So we have done quite a few streams as well. And obviously a couple of quite long ones which helped. We've got to try and really get inside this guy's DRS. And doing that is not going to help. I think the thing for a lot of people is, of course, he was just out of control. Like, yeah, it was. they gave it a racing instant because, obviously, they both ended up exactly where they were anyway. I think had that taken Lewis out or something, then it probably would have been a max pen. But Formula 1 like to base decisions now on the outcome rather than the actual incident itself. I want to Google I'm not paying a Discord subscription, but Discord is still taking my money. What could you buy on Discord? Is it like Nitro or whatever it's called? Uh, uh. That could have been GG. That generally could have been GG there. Oh, I just want to close up to this guy. Top six of us are so consistent, man. Ah, fair enough, Bradson. Still need to get a job. <laughs> Star 
Ooh. Oh, felt a body roll through there that time round. Just kind of squatted over the curb slightly. And just threw itself back up. And yeah, yeah, guy in front of me is for quick. 49.2 is not bad going. I'd love to be able to match that. Last, last lap, we were a second slower. Everybody except for P2 now has done a sub 150 at some point. Toast will hire you, Branson. There you go. Oh, come on. I mean, to be fair, if this guy can drag me up towards those next group, then I won't moan, but... The gap behind is now 2.1 seconds. I, I had no idea there was a guy behind me. Oh, P2! What happened to him? Did he pit? Hey, where did he where did he go? We're up to fifth, yeah. Something must have happened. I never saw him. His last lap because he was ten seconds soft. But what on earth happened to him? That is really weird. Did anybody see that? I didn't see anything. Was it last lap? Or was it this lap? It must have been this lap because it hasn't updated the positions yet. No, we must have pit. But he went really long on that first stint. Okay. People are cooking. 48.8 is wild. There you go. Half distance. We're getting there. Guy behind me, I think it's going to go through pretty fast, but we can just hang inside his DRS or something, anything. To be fair, I would probably take a P5 finish. I'd love a podium, but a P5 finish I would take. I Well, to be honest, I just want to survive this. Like, I want to come back and do more of these second half of the year. Um, obviously, just couldn't because we got so busy with F1. But we've had a pretty good run so far in the races I have done, without trying to jinx myself. <laughs> All I read there was that's like £8 off minimum wage, and I'm immediately worried. Why are we so slow at the moment? I mean, to be fair, I'm pretty much matching P2 and P3's pace. It is just P4 that's flying. Like, we've just got to be there at the end of the afternoon, I think. But it could be that we end up with quite a lot of us kind of converging on each other. I think Guy Behind is going to have DRS as well. Oh. Is that better not be Paul? I think it might have been. Where is he? He's still going. He might have just ran wide, to be fair. Yeah, Guy Behind's going to have the DRS this time, so I think we're going to lose P5. <laughs> I'll pay you cash. If ever there was a sign of dodgy dealings going on, that is your answer.
It's not time to get defensive. I got no pace, Jim. <laughs> What's the point in getting defensive? I mean, to be fair, lead is still running good times. It is P2, P3 that seem to be struggling a bit more. Oh, a horrible line again at that final corner. You're playing F1 manager 24. Not moved out yet, I'm afraid. Oh, uh. oh, well, oh hello. Of course. How is that a one second slowdown? I got four out there. Surely that's going to get rid of it. I hope. This, oh, what? How did that jump back to point seven? What is that? He jumped up again. Oh, p 4 has been it. Not much room to get away with a mistake there. Don't know who it was, though. It's Micah. It's all kicking off just over half distance. So we're back into fifth then. We didn't stay in sixth for very long. I don't want an apartment chat. I want to buy a house. Like, if push came to shove and I have to have an apartment, yeah, fine, but I'm hoping I've saved enough money to be able to buy a house. Ugh. Not that buying a house is viable for anybody in the UK anymore, but there we are. To be fair, I would be up for living in more parts of the UK than the girlfriend would be willing to live in. Right, so we're into fifth then. Paul is second, 11 seconds up the road. Lead is going fast. I reckon we can be quicker than second and third. P4 is going fast. I want to believe there's a shot on a podium still. I don't know how many cars are actually still running. I think there's like 10 of us left. <laughs> but to be fair, I'm pretty certain we personally watched basically all of those cars bin it as well. I'm staggered that isn't a 1x. You can run so wide through there. Oh, someone's gone. Oh, there's another one gone. Rubber to P4. What is happening in this race, man? It, I mean, it's... I mean, every race is series of a race of attrition, but still. Trading out of the BMW money will buy you plenty. I don't want to trade out the BMW, though. Like, if like if I needed to, then yes, I absolutely would to buy a house. But I'm hoping I'm in a position where I don't have to do that. Although, to be fair, the BMW is now fixed. I say it wasn't really broken, to be fair, but... I got the exhaust sorted on that chat. £600, plus, to be fair, brakes and its MOT. But it was an expensive day to be me. Not fun. Not ideal. But there we are. The nature of the beast. Price range are we looking? Well, it depends how much we can get from... you got to remember, chat, as well. I'm self-employed. Like, if you've got any idea how mortgages work in the UK, no one will want to lend me money because I'm self... What? Paul's gone! What is happening? Looks like P2's gone off in turn nine. What is this race, man? Is Paul okay? How is every... Like, three of the top six have crashed in, like, the last three laps. 
I think Paul's still fine, though. There he is, yeah. Paul's definitely ran into problems. He might have just gone for a spin, but... This race is absolute carnage. Yeah, Mike has gone. Massimo seems to still be going, which I guess is good. Not for me, really, but... Start selling 2 and 2 Motorsport merch. Infinite money glitch. I w I've said this before. I wouldn't want to do 2 and 2 branded merch. But I would like to do more like general racing merch down the line. But this is like years away. That is an appalling line. Your lap time was 1.50. The other thing I'm quite happy with is it seems like the pace gap between myself and Andreas really calmed down as well. Which is good. What's your opinion on Bonotto joining AMD? We spoke about this on the podcast, so I think it's a decent move. It was one that I was not expecting, though. Uh, come on, yep. Yeah. Car. That's face on underwear. I have bottled it. <laughs> My face on underwear would be an absolute disgrace to humankind. Message me when you're ready to buy a house. I will start looking immediately. Okay, Toast, I will do that. <laughs> two and two aftershave. Oh, the pain. <laughs> I did actually have a few months ago, chat, a company email me about doing my own custom Matsumoto perfume. They were like, we really feel like your brand could match it. And I was like, well, what would it smell of? Bottles and sweat? I don't know. So P9 is a lap down. There are eight cars maximum on the lead lap still. The smell of victory. Oh, no. First time I've got a one extra a ruse. Oh, here we go. Battling front. Is Paul going to try and defend it? No, not at all. So there's our podium hopes right there, ladies and gents, right now. Forehead sweat. I've got a lot of that tonight, I tell you what. I could get a lot of fragrance out of that. Not nice fragrance, but. I'm so warm. Only got 15 laps to go, though. We are at two thirds distance, so we're getting on with it. Why can't I find the apex through there anymore? Like, what's going on with that? Don't mind the smell. My engine just blew. <laughs> Like, I reckon, when did Mechanical Failures come onto the F1 game? F1 2020 or was it F1 2021? 
Like, proper spontaneous ones. I reckon genuinely, out of all kind of like... F1 content creators, I've surely had the most. Is it F1 22? No, surely it was before then. I remember having them on F1 2021. I think it was either 2021. I think it was 2020. It might have been 2020. i got to really pick up or stop picking up 1Xs. Uh, oh, as soon as I say that, man. What am I doing? I think it was F1 2021 they fully were implemented. Didn't enable them in F1 2021. They were definitely there. Because I remember the Williams Road to Glory. I was trying to win the title. And I had like three mechanical failures in the last five Grand Prix. Or something absolutely insane. Sam with a 10-stream streak as well. I appreciate it, buddy. Oh, someone's binned it. Not leader, though. Before it was... Yeah, before it was just 100% wear, wasn't it? Which is quite easy to avoid unless you're a moron. Even though I do remember doing that. This is quite a sweaty race. I have been concentrating. But we are almost there now. It's been good fun, though. I have enjoyed coming back to this. Like, I would love a podium out of it, but I think a P4 finish I would take as well. He says. That was right on the limit of grip. The th weird thing is as well with this car, I cannot afford to get confidence towards the end. i got to stay nervous of it just slightly. A 212 calendar. Anyone any experiences by the high end guys? I can't say I've ever driven one unknowingly. Genuinely surprised you're not in a wall. I am equally as surprised. But there's still time. Especially when I drive like that. So annoying, man, when you nail the lap and just bottle it there. Like, I reckon if I do nail it, we've got the pace over these two. A disco sweat. Thank you for the follow. I'm not quite at the disco, but I'm certainly sweating. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Welcome on in. I forgot to say as well, chat, yesterday. Thank you very much for 6,400 followers. Or Tuesday, even. I still would like to hit 10k by the end of the year, but I think it's going to be tough. Come on. Track limits, watch those lines. The gap in front is now 3.0. The hot guy from Sheffield is back, sadly no girls. <laughs> Josh as well, thank you for the follow buddy, I appreciate it. Come on. We've got to try and beat Paul, chat. <laughs> Even though he's a friend, we need to beat him. I think people now underestimate how good Hyundai are as a company. 
Like, they've really done a lot of good stuff in the last 10 years to get themselves in the mainstream. And I think they absolutely deserve the success they're seeing. I, like, genuinely would happily have a Hyundai. Like, I'd want, like, an i30N or something, ideally. But I would have... I actually did look, chat, rather weirdly at one point. Uh, I think it was a Hyundai Kona N? So they're in a family SUV. Family SUV, but it comes with an overboost button. So you get 10 extra brake horsepower for like 10 seconds. And you can use it like once every 15 minutes or something. And I was like, I need that. So cool. So stupid, but so cool. Do you recommend a good force for you back wheel? Uh, what budget are you looking at, Josh? I can certainly try. And do you need a rig as well, or is it just the steering wheel? Are you clamping it to a desk? Please be aware, though. Obviously, my responses won't be too fantastic. I am trying to drive an F1 car. The gap in front is now 3.1 seconds. Come on. Dropping back. <laughs> Don't know what a Fanatec R12 is. Rig 2, ideally. Didn't enjoy the desk attachment. Yeah, let me know your budget, buddy. We can try and sort you through something. Ugh. Four twenty. 300? Uh, I would say... Logitech G29 or G920 or G923 or whatever they're called now. Just the most up-to-date Logitech wheel. Uh, and probably like a GT Omega stand. You'd be, able to, you'd, you'd be able to get in at a pretty decent level at 300 with a rig as well. Only thing is you might need your own chair. But that's a, something you can buy down the line if push comes to shove. But yeah, most recent Logitech. I look at. I wouldn't want to spend much more than two hundred on the wheel itself. They can normally be found for about that, and then yeah, about hundred on the rig. Say so three hundred is quite a nice sweet spot because you can get a decent belt-driven wheel, um, and luckily you're still far enough away where you don't have to justify trying to stretch to direct drive. Or, if you're on Xbox or PC, Motor R3 bundle. I can't... Uh, no, that might be 400. I can't remember. Exactly. There you go. Branson's the one to speak to. But yeah, G29, 923, 920, whatever they're called. They're on Amazon, I think, on sale at the moment. At like 189, I think I saw. But it depends what console you need. Come on, chat. We've got ten laps to go. I can't keep sitting here like three seconds back. You've got to really try to push on towards the end of this. Back on track. 88-18. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on him. So, I must admit, if you're doing longer sim racing, the chair makes more of a difference than you realise. Come on, that is complete dog poo. Every time I gain time, I throw it away. In that damn bus stop. Like that lap, we would have gone quicker than both of them then. In fact, Andrea's actually starting to slow down a bit. Thank a wooden four nails randomly sticking out of it. That would not be ideal. Tappanen's going to be interesting to see this weekend. Like, I think ultimately he's going to struggle because, you know, he's going in against people that have had most of the season of experience. But I'll be intrigued to see how he gets on. I think it'll be more about just trying to prove it so he can get a seat next year if he's got the funding. You are speed. 
I am not speed. Oh, come on. It's the first time I've done that as well, I think. What we need is two in front of us to start battling. Yeah, oh yeah, Ferrari. Ferrari Academy don't give you anything. <laughs> it's mad. Like, I understand the Red Bull's far too cutthroat. But the Ferrari Academy is insane when you consider the company. Like, they provide... Like, they can get you into a Prima, yeah. But they provide you nothing at all. Right, we were quicker than on both that lap. Don't hit the inside wall at turn one. I'm still not convinced, chat, I've made a legitimate overtake today, have I? You've raced against him. I didn't know you raced, Toast. My only way to make places so far in this race has just been other people dying. Exactly. And it's been a strategy that's worked up to this point. Quicker again, that lap. Off the, pace. off the pace of what? I mean, quicker than... Oh, no. How did, he, how did Andrea that turn around just smash in a 50.2? Matsy is not having fun through there. Yeah, he's in the pits. I think... Did he lap? Oh, yeah. So I think he meant me, then. I was going to say, I haven't been lapped, have I? I know I haven't been brilliant this race, but I thought I would have been better than that. Oh, come on. Where am I going? Come on, man. I just need... Oh, I need a lot now. I need, like, half a second of that. The gap ahead is now 3.9. If those two would battle a bit more, or we could just set some actual good lap times towards the end, then I'd want to believe we've got a shot still. But I just keep throwing it away right now. Just little mistakes every once in a while make all the difference. Ugh. Don't make more. Yeah, say that time around. All the time we gained over the last couple of laps, gone. Come on, he's so close to the DRS as well, to the guy in front. Ooh. 
Like, if they, if they could just fight, then we'd get there. I know it. Oh, damn it. Uh, you cannot nudge that curve this late on. What? No, I can't pit. We need to get to the end. Yeah, another one. I can't get a drive through late on. To be fair, I think Paul pit before me, didn't he? So surely he's struggling on his set of tyres as well. Like, they do kind of go through good little pockets and bad little pockets, it always feels like. Thank you, Leon, for the follow, man. I appreciate it. Welcome on in. The chat is more interesting than the race. The race has been one of strategy, but has not been one full of action, it must be said. And accented Jerry. Thank you for the follow. Oh, come on. Come on. Nose is just completely gone. Problem is, I don't really want to pit because then it could open up so they can pit. I don't want, just want them to battle, man. Like that lap was just terrible. So stupid. Molten milk to the optimal biscuit to Dunkin' tea. And no, you're forgetting about a certain Mr. Hobnob. Not that I ever drink tea. Like, molten milk, yeah, good, but there are no hobnobs. Wow, okay, yeah, guy behind went soft and he's flying. He, was, he went like four seconds quicker than me that lap. To save his 30 seconds back, he hopefully won't get a look in, but he'll get close. Maybe it would have been worth a pit stop. Although, to be fair, yeah, he's only really going two, three seconds a lap quicker. I didn't even realise I got a warning there, man. That was stupid. To be fair, we could box and try and claim fastest lap, but I just don't want something to happen in front and then waste a podium chance. But yeah, we've lost pace with the guys in front now. We've got nothing left. All there. Too busy reading chat at the wrong point. I mean, Sky is looking overcast as well. Like, I don't think it can rain in this series, but it's not looking like it's far away. Go for fastest. Oh, no, but if, what, if something, what if something happens? One of these guys could still stack it on old tyres. And now, to be honest, I will be get undercut. Fourteen X man, how bad am I at this game? The gap in front is now five point two seconds. I'm so bad at this game. Will there ever be an I Racing two? Uh, maybe, but probably not. I mean, they'd have to let you keep all the content you bought. Surely it could be like CS moving to CS two, I suppose. But I can't see it happening. Stick to F1 Championship Edition. I cannot tell you guys enough how little I want to play that game. <laughs> like, unless I bought, like, a PS3 wheel for it or something. I'm so not looking forward to bringing that back. Right, 
And that time around, we were pretty much identical with the guy in front. With our good friend Paul. I mean, Tom, to be fair to him, has absolutely destroyed the field today. The pace he's had up front has been mega. I believe this thing will literally do 180 miles an hour up the hill. Like, unless you're using different battery modes. Ugh. I just wish we were quicker, man. <laughs> like every racing driver ever, I know, but still. It's so annoying the fact I can see him there as well. Ugh. Yeah, why wouldn't I have understeer through that? So, only top six are on the lead lap now. I don't know how many more than that will have survived this race, but still. Oh, he might be inside. No, he won't be DRS just quite, I don't think. I don't know. They're mighty close, those two. But three laps to go here from Spa. We've done pretty well up to this point, but... I just want that little bit more. Now the car's light with fuel, it feels pretty nimble still, but definitely not enough. We've got 23 seconds to the guy behind. I think we'll, we'll take a punt, chat. We'll get on a fresh set of softs for the final two laps, and we'll try and go fastest. A 48 flat, though, is a pretty quick time. I think we'll be out quite close to him, but we might just be able to beat him. Especially as we will have fresher tyres as well. I better not throw away P4. I mean, to be fair, it doesn't really matter if it's P4 or P5, but still. Thank you for the follow. Cool. I appreciate it. Oh, don't light up the rears. Don't light up the rears. Come on. Oh, this is going to be close on pit exit, man. There's traffic behind. Watch your mirrors. Don't cross the white line. I think we should still just about be in front. Yeah, we've got two seconds over him. That's okay. I don't know if we can actually change the RS mode in this, to be fair. Can you change the error smell? It's now 2.3. He's faster than you into Bruxel. No, we can't. It's, so it's stuck in balance mode, so that's fine. We don't have to worry about that. Let's just try and get the tyres up to scrub. And we'll try and take fastest lap on the very last lap of the race. And not pick up more incident points. Gotta try and make things interesting towards the end of an afternoon, haven't I?
But to be honest, yeah, like I said, coming into this, with the way we went through free practice, I'm very happy we've just survived, to be honest, as much as anything else. I'm trying to work out how much grit this thing's got as well. We'll try and go for one ultra push slap though final lap of this race. I mean, I really do wonder whether we could have pit and got back to him, whether a two stop would have been viable. Would have been quite interesting to try, but ultimately, yeah, I don't think it's going to make much difference here. One more lap to go then here from Spa. Definitely overfueled. All right, let's go. Full sweat mode lap to finish us off with the most just undramatic run to the line you'll ever see. Oh, they got way too much rotation now. That's off-putting. I need to find two seconds on the delta. That's what we're looking for. And no one X's. Am I losing speed? I mean, the grip you've got is mental on fresh softs on no fuel. This is basically what we should have done in qualifying. I, I just thought for a second, is that going to be flat? And the answer was no. stupid <laughs> exactly where I did it in qualifying as well 16x is not ideal can't could we at least try and claim it on paper so dumb there's an incident in La Source. looks like it's last oh fair play Tom absolutely dominated that Andrea and Paulo as well really good pace at the final corner I think that would be, yeah, 47.9. But it's not going to count for anything. You know what? We'll take that, though. I can't complain too much. That was a good fun race. I enjoyed that. So I want to do more of those the second half of the year. Um, 16 of 17x as well. And congratulations if you voted P4, P5. Did anyone actually vote for that? Did anyone think I'd survive? Lyric did. 800 bits to you, sir. Well earned. Um, yeah, I'll take that. That was good fun. That was good fun. We need 24-hour races. I will... Well, like I said, hopefully we're going to do Le Mans next month. Um, but, yeah. It'll be good fun. We'll finish with some solitaire as well, chat. I have had a hair in my mouth since the start of that race. And it was the most annoying thing in the world. Right, there we go. Gone now. Finally. Oh, man. How many of us actually finished? That was the other thing I was going to have a look at. Um, there was 11 of us that survived. Michael was admittedly three laps down. Uh, six of us were on the lead lap, though. So, yeah, it was absolute chaos. I mean, yeah, you look at how many people retired early on. One, two, three. Staggeringly, no one retired on lap one, which I'm quite shocked with. Um, but yeah, Tom, pole position and the win. We weren't even the biggest mover there. That goes to Julian. Although, admittedly, I was 19th or 20th at the first corner. So I can't knock it. Uh, but Tom actually had the lowest I rating as well. Like I said, I think I've raced him before. He is rapid in this series. 